Welcome back to another video from yours truly, Levon Kaysen. And today I'm going to be discussing who won E3 and a little bit of talking about the next generation of gaming. Specifically, Sony and Microsoft. Now, excuse me, in my opinion, yes, in my opinion, people, who did I think won E3? I think Microsoft won E3. And the reason why I think they won E3 is because the quantity of games, the showcase of actual Japanese support for the system, like a lot of people was not expecting Devil May Cry 5 to be coming on the Xbox, but it is coming on the Xbox, which is good. It's a good thing. The fact that Jumpstart was showcased on the Xbox comp in the Xbox conference good you know and the pacing was pretty good the transitions were pretty good the the only flaw that I had is I could play a lot of those games on my PS4 or PC that was the only flaw Xbox doesn't really have true exclusives they don't and also another good point five studios yes five new studios are going to be working on games so and they also talked about that the next xbox is coming which is to me a plus to me it's a plus so next gen is coming sooner than later people next gen is coming sooner than later second place for me is sony is because of what they showed that last of us 2 even though i'm not into into Last of Us, I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty. It looks pretty. In fact, it looks like a CGI movie. I I think it looks like, and a lot of people can agree with me that it looks like a CGI movie. It does. Uh, the Spider-Man game, I'm excited about. That Samurai game, I'm excited about as well for the PS4. Not Noe 2, the other Samurai game. And what else? The bad parts of the conference when that transition after The Last of Us 2 and they were talking. I was like, what, what, what's the point of this? What's the point of this? That was stupid. Like, Sony, come on, hold this L. Hold this L. So, that was the biggest, like... As far as point, that was the biggest reason why I consider Sony second than Microsoft because that transition right there. So, yeah. Like, it started off real, real good with Last of Us 2, which looked graphically impressive. And it looks better than any Switch game. Of course it does. And it definitely does look better than most Xbox One exclusives. But... After they show The Last of Us, that's when it started to go downhill. And the same thing could be said with Nintendo. And I'm just talking about the big three, you know. Everyone else I could really care less. I'm talking about the big three as far as E3 2018 goes. Nintendo. It started out decent but when that Smash announcement came on. And they ended the show with Smash. I was like... Nintendo, really? Really, Nintendo? Why didn't you talk about Metroid Prime 4 a little bit? Why didn't you talk about that Yoshi game a little bit? Why didn't you talk about Animal Crossing? Why didn't you talk about some other third-party games that could be, may or may not come, that could maybe come to the Switch? Like, I... I mean, there's a lot of current-gen games in this generation for this year that are not coming to Switch. It's just a fact, people. It is just a fact. There's a lot of current-generation games out there that are not coming to Switch. That's a fact. So, it's, Nintendo started off decent. Then, when they were talking about Smash, they didn't really have to talk about Smash for too long. Maybe five to ten minutes. But the fact that they talked about whole the whole show, that's just really Nintendo, really. And 
the Switch is still going to sell, people. It is still going to sell. You know, I mean, Fortnite is on the Nintendo Switch, which it's actually a pretty decent port. It's actually a pretty decent version of Fortnite. So, the Switch is going to sell. With or without Fortnite, I mean, it has Fortnite now, which is still going to sell regardless. The Nintendo Switch I'm talking about. So, yeah, Nintendo had a big opportunity to win this e this year's E3, but they didn't. They didn't win E3. They did not. So, next gen people, like I said, it's come. It's around the corner, people. Microsoft, they're they're getting ready to talk about. They're getting ready to talk about their next gen system next year. You know, I think it's called, like, Project Scarlet. So, they're getting ready. They're getting ready to start the next generation. I actually think that Microsoft might release their next generation system at the end of, at the end of next year. You know, show it off, like, the PS4. Like, show it off at the beginning of the year. You know, show off its features and stuff like that. And then, at the end of the... And then it will get released at the end of the year meaning in November of 2019 or 2020. So, it's either going to be 2019 or 2020. That's when I think the next Xbox will release. And the PS5, I think it's 2020. That's just me. But people, especially Nintendo fans, you better get hip to it. Next Gen is coming sooner than later, people. It's coming soon. And for all you people that are saying next gen, I don't want next gen to start now. I don't want next gen to start now. Why are we talking about next gen already, man? Why? Why? Calm down, people. Sony's still going to support the PS4 even after the PlayStation 5 comes out. Xbox is still going to support the Xbox One even after the next Xbox comes out, so calm down, people. But Nintendo fans, <laughs> Elder Scrolls 6, it's not coming on Switch. I don't think Beyond Good and Evil is coming on Switch. Go Beyond Good and Evil 2, that's what I meant to say. I don't think it's coming on Switch, but that's just me. You know, I think it's coming on next-gen platforms such as the PS5 or and Xbox 2. I mean... Next Gen is starting sooner than later, people. It is. And I expect Microsoft to talk about their Next Gen system first, then Sony. But yeah. First place is Microsoft, second place is Sony, third place is Nintendo. Overall, you know, as far as everyone combined, you know, E3 was okay. E3 was okay at best. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't spectacular. It was okay at best. So, yeah. What did you guys think of E3 2018? What do you guys think of next generation of Microsoft and Sony? What do you guys think of Microsoft talking about their next generation system next year? Let me know in the comment section below if you want to donate to my PayPal. Link will be in the description down below to donate to my PayPal. So, yeah. See you guys later, and peace.